Hey all, I wanted to share with you a little bit about the guides that are new to Photoshop Elements 8. They've always been in the full version of Photoshop, but this is the first time that they've come to Photoshop Elements and they're beginning with version 8. Um, you're going to see it here in, in this file that I have. It is this uh, horizontal line that I have going down the center of my page. Um, they're really easy to uh, create. I'm going to just uh, take this one and drag it right off to make it disappear. I'm going to click right here on the ruler and I can make another one. I can make a second one. If I want, I can make some from the vertical side. And so you can see they're really easy to make and just manually place. But I have this here which is a candy bake topper for Halloween. I'm just filling a gallon size um, Ziploc bag with some candy and I wanted to staple a topper on it and this folds down over it so I needed to know where the center was uh, while I was placing my elements so that I would know um, so I'd be better be able to uh, make this uh, graphic. Now those guides do not show up when printing and you can leave them there even when you do a save as and they won't show up. Um, they're just kind of an extension of the rulers. So my file here is seven and a quarter inches and I got to thinking okay what's half a seven and a quarter? You know I could easily do half of seven is three and a half but you know it's just too much math to do more than that and didn't want to get out my calculator so I found a really handy way for you to insert these guides under the view menu choose new guide and it comes up with a default of zero inches and horizontal well I want I mean and vertical but I want horizontal and once again I didn't want to think Okay, what is um, half of seven and a quarter? Aha, but there's a much easier way to do this. Just because it comes up suggesting inches doesn't mean that you can't put other things in here. So we try putting in 50% and click OK and I get a guide straight down the middle. You can do 25% and 75% and you've got it quickly divided into fourths and I think that's a really handy tip. Um, I've used these guides before in a card template. You can also find that on my blog somewhere and uh, I know I can think of so many uses for them. For instance, I recently blogged about the uh, Shutterfly Guard and the um, use of it to keep from putting vital elements around the edges of your layout so that when you upload them to Shutterfly they won't uh, get cut off and so you could use guides instead of uh, that Shutterfly guard which I recently um, shared with you as a suggestion. So there are so many uses for these guides and I just wanted to share with you this really cool quick tip how you can quickly find the center um, when you need it for uh, something like this. Most useful I think in hybrid projects more so than uh, digital scrapbooking. So um, if you have any questions, uh, ask, and I hope you've really enjoyed this tip. Uh, have a great day.